everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel, Relax Cut Glue. So today I'm gonna do a final flip of my one magazine challenge. This is the magazine that I made a glue book out of, Harper's Bazaar, May 2021. Um, I don't have a lot left of the magazine, just a few little things. And there are some images that I'll save for another glue book but I finished it and I wanted to share it with you. So I found the word cocoa in there and if you're new to my channel, you might not know this, but my goddaughter calls me Coco. So I put that on there. All right, let's flip through. So I used a paper bag, made a glue book out of it. I have a video, a couple videos back of that. And my one magazine challenge consists of me making a glue book and using only the images in that magazine. So here's the flip. Um, it's really fun because you're kind of forced to be creative with the things that you have. So yeah, like here I added earrings um, to her face. And then, yeah, this one. <laughs> and then um, I hid the word moist right here because it's just not as no noticeable. And I kept going back and forth as to whether or not I wanted to cover this page with something, but it had diamonds and a flower, so I just left it. And I added these little elements down here. This is my favorite page. I um, debated about adding this because I liked the image as it was, but I did. Finding beauty, making art, and then I added this necklace to her. And then this was my purple page and I added some green in to kind of balance because um, this has purple and green. So now this has purple and green. And then this page, I had plans to do all kinds of stuff with it. And all I did was stick a hat on her head. <laughs> I just, you know, sometimes I'm just kind of over it. So I was over her. I just, nothing came to mind. And then I added this little gloopy thing there for her eye and then I put best skincare ever and then I have the snail coming through her mouth and climbing all over and then this one I just left it as is I did add some border on it but I just left it and then this one I had found this lady and I added one of the clock mechanisms to her head and I put the true mother of invention oops I just lifted that up and then I decided to do a yellow page because I had a bunch of yellow stuff. So I added all of that. Kind of yellow and green because I have some green here. And then this has golden yellow and this has golden yellow. And so, yeah, I like that. And then this, I added a background from an ad. And then I fussy cut her out. And then I added this down here. Uh... I don't know what's going on here, but I did that. <laughs> and then this says, what if beauty is a state of perpetual discovery? So I had this picture, this big picture, and it was an ad. So it had like an ad, you know, about whatever right here. So then I took this other piece and put that on top. So everything that is in this glue book came from that one magazine. So I had to use what I had. And then this page just kind of left it. I took some strips that I had that were left over. I did that quite a bit in this book. Um, and I added that as a background. Then I cut out some fruit and put that in there. And then this one I put natural because, wow. Um, and then this one, I love this image. And I put the pioneering, pioneering artist right there. And I added some scrap paper not scrap paper, I'm sorry, little bits. I keep all my little bits of paper that I tear and then I use them throughout the book. This was, I had a ton of neutral stuff in this magazine. So I made like a whole page adding neutral things. Like this back here is part of a ad for jewelry. And then I cut this out. I don't even know what it is. Added some of that paper. And then this is an image, this is an image. Cut, fussy cut the sweater. I had the these beautiful ladies and the shoe and then all four of these I cut out and then this is all one ad. So it just kind of came together. And then this is my fungi page. So I used another bit of that gold jewelry ad and then added another image of nature. And then I put the mushrooms here 
And then here I took this ad of this lady and made a slit in her eye and shoved the mushrooms in there. And then I added this 1967. And then this, I just was getting to the point where I had these images. I just didn't know what to do with. So I just kind of did that. And then there was a page that had this girl wearing four different hats and it was square images like these up here. So I fussy cut her head out. And then on the next page was this page of these four older ladies. So I stuck the four heads on the <laughs> four ladies. And then I found this, it said three daughters. And I thought that was kind of funny because there's four of them, not three. I don't know. And then I did a watch page because there was 5,000 watches in this magazine. So these were the watches I had left that I hadn't used yet. Um, I used a few in the beginning of the glue book. And so I threw them all on here and I put go time. And yeah, see, be or it says, why don't you see beauty even in difficult times? And then I added more of the natural elements. Instagram art, get used to it. <laughs> so it's really fun to work with things that like you normally wouldn't. Like there was a lot of images in here I totally would have used, but in a different way. But when you only have what you have to work with, it's fun to, you know, see what you can do. And then I was kind of getting done with my book. And these are images that I kept like tossing around my desk this whole time that I was doing this glue book. So I threw them all on these two pages because I just wanted to glue and they were driving me nuts. I kept trying to use them in things and it wasn't working. So boom. So I just threw them all on one page that was kind of going on with this too. Like I had all kinds of visions for these little circles and it just, I really just wanted to um, glue. So I was just gluing things down. I like how this one turned out. I mean, I like how this one turned out too, but yeah. And then this one, I really loved her. And then I just took some scrap um, magazine images that, you know, had a solid background. Or not a solid background, but like a neutral background. And I tore it up and I put that right there. And then this one. So I tore around her and then I took the pieces that were around her and I put them over here. Um, horizontal. And then I stuck her and then I put fighting the patriarchy. Because she looks irritated <laughs> so I put be happy because they both look like so irritated but yeah and then this one was the other half of the face that I did back here where'd she go hello beautiful face did I already show it I swear I did oh well I guess not okay well here's half her face and then I took more little pieces out of ads and stuff and made these little just this kind of art piece right here. And then this was a scrap from this lady. I kept it and I put that and then I fussy cut these out and this was just kind of some random things. And then I put this, I don't know if this was his name or what, I should have read the article, but this actually said Yo-Yo Ma on his, <laughs> above his picture, so I put it there and I put Game On. So yeah. I don't have anything in my pockets because I'm done with my glue book, but I think in my pocket, I'm gonna put um, a card that has uh, the name and the date of the magazine that I used for this one magazine challenge. But yeah, I mean, my book got, you know, it feels plump. I like it. I love this cover. This is probably my favorite cover in a really long time because this image is just stunning. So, all right guys, I hope you enjoyed my flip through. And I hope you guys are all having a fabulous day. I'm sorry for my absence the last few days. I got my first COVID shot and it kind of, it kind of messed me up a little bit. <laughs> so um, hopefully I'll be uh, feeling better really soon and back to the videos. I'm already feeling much better today. So that's why I'm filming this. All right, guys, I've missed you all. I hope you missed me too. And until next time, bye.